Next time that you're catching some sleep on your flight, just know your pilots might be doing the same thing. Passenger and cargo airlines routinely have 12 plus hour non-stop flights, and pilots don't have normal desk jobs where they can go home after 8 hours. They also don't have normal jobs in the sense that if pilots go to work tired, or if they get fatigued while working, they could cause the deaths of hundreds of people. Government agencies and airlines understand this, and have put rules into place to help pilots get rest during a long workday. There are two different types of sleep during flight, controlled and bunk. Controlled is what you might imagine when you think about a pilot sleeping. This type of rest is when one of the two pilots is allowed to sleep in the cockpit. One pilot will be the one primarily flying, while the other one is more or less observing. If the pilot who is not in charge is tired, they can make an agreement with the flying pilot to get some sleep in. The pilot will then get about 10 to 40 minutes to nap, while his colleague needs to stay awake and monitor the plane. It is important to note that this sort of in-flight nap will only happen during cruise, a very safe stage in flight. It's also important for the pilot who is flying to stay awake, so it's not uncommon for a member of the flight crew to check in periodically to make sure one of them is awake. While the idea of a pilot asleep in the cockpit sounds scary, and there have been some viral photos of pilots sleeping, in reality, if done correctly, an in-flight nap helps eliminate pilot fatigue and makes the flight safer for everyone on board. The other sleeping option is only used for long-haul flights. This style is called bunk. It's when the plane has beds for the pilots and flight crew to sleep. At this point, you, the viewer, might start to type a comment that goes along the lines of, I've flown on many planes and I've never seen a bed in a plane before. Fake news. And you'd be correct. The passengers never see these beds because they're hidden away. Depending on the plane, the beds can be placed above or below the passenger cabin. Some people say the sleeping rooms are claustrophobic, others claim the rooms are cozy. Comment down below what you think. Personally, I would take it over an economy seat any day of the week, but that's just my opinion. If you're curious how pilots can leave the cockpit to go to sleep, it's because long-haul flights have more than two pilots. A 12-hour flight could have three or four pilots, and since only two are needed at one time to fly, the other one or two can go sleep. All the pilots need to be in the cockpit for takeoffs and landings, but besides that, it's up for the airline to decide how the pilots split their time flying and sleeping. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. I'm still figuring out what kind of videos to make for this channel, so comment down below what kind of topics you would like to be seen made into a video. Thanks, bye bye.